ଦେଇଛନ୍ତି What's up, my friends? It's me, your pal, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show in my garage every night, 7 p.m. Pacific, right here on Facebook Live. You're about to play trivia with Buds. It's all shopping-related trivia tonight. So we got some really fun rounds for you on stuff like shopping malls as seen on TV products inside stores, which is a picture round conceived by Ashley. Products and companies and a slogans confidence round to close out the night. It's free, it's fun, and we do it every night for 150 days. Thanks for being here on Facebook. Shout out to my friend Cam Molidor, who's here. What's up, Cam? He says, solid claps, buddy. Good to see you, Cam. Miss you. And Cam, we're going to do our meetup on Saturday. Are you able to come meet up with me and Doug and Manny and uh, Greg? Let me know, let me know. And guys, let me know if you are playing trivia here tonight in my garage. Cam got a box of stuff for me today. Thanks, says Cam. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff in there for you, Cam. A lot of people donated prizes your way. John Holloman's here. What's up, John Holloman? Shout out to all 11 of you who RSVP'd on my website. Amy Madigan, Dylan Enderby, Don Ayers, Erica Holloway, Greg Nelson, Heidi Bear, John Holloman, Julia Madalonis, Rachel Lambert, Stephen Marquez, and Victoria Carrera. Thanks for coming out and hanging out on the live stream. We had a lot of fun last night. We did all crowd per rounds. We were done by 8.30. And uh, Vicky Carrero is our big winner. She won a Funko puzzle of DC heroes and villains. That was very cool. And uh, let's see, second place went to Don Ayers. Third place went to Heidi Baird. We had five random rounds of crowd per. That was fun to do. And tonight we're doing all shopping related trivia, stores, products, slogans, stuff like that. Tomorrow is all about Jeopardy. If you want to play, on our live Jeopardy game show. It's going to be a ton of fun. And we did Family Feud last week. This week we're doing Jeopardy. It's called Quiz Show, but it looks and feels just like Jeopardy with the big screens that you choose the categories from. Uh, Cam, are you playing on Friday night? Let me know. 7 p.m. Pacific. I've got uh, nine people so far. I need three more spots to fill for the last half hour. <laughs> uh, we are looking to do that on Friday night. Cam, on uh, Saturday, we are going to do that meetup. I want to say probably 1 or 2 o'clock. I have a haircut appointment out by me at 1040. Did that break? You good? All right. Uh, I have a haircut at 1040 by me, and then I will be uh, running over to Glendale, where I've not been in like six months, and then I will be coming back to RT to grab beers with uh, Cam and Greg and Manny and Doug. So that'll be fun. Then we're going to go to Ogo Pogo, get some beers there, and then head back home. If you guys want to meet up with us on Saturday, let me know. That'll be around, I'm imagining, 2 o'clock. Cam says, hell yeah, I'm in. Very cool. Cam, anybody else? Johnny or Corey, would they want to play on uh, Friday night? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, April, my friend April Spears just donated 25 bucks, guys. If you want to support me on the show tonight, hit me up on... Venmo. Venmo's at the top of the screen. Ryan dash buds, PayPal, Ryan buds at gmail.com. April is the first donator tonight. Thank you, April. And you're going to get an extra five entries for being the first donation. So you'll have 30 entries altogether. Two, three, four, five, six. There's 30. April's got 30 entries. And thank you very much, April. She says, let's get this party started, right? I'm with you, April. We got 10 people watching kind of a quiet night. Last night was super quiet too but it kind of filled up as we went on. So we'll see how it goes tonight. We are giving away a very cool prize for first place. One of the top three scoring teams is going to get an, uh, a large size shirt that says inconceivable. Check it out. There he is. Uh, I forget the guy's name. Somebody will let me know in the comments. Uh, but the guy uh, who says inconceivable in the princess bride, it's a blue and yellow shirt. Inconceivable. That's our top prize tonight. You're going to win that shirt. You don't have to go shopping for it. I bring the store right to you, and you can win some cool stuff. Julia says, sounds fun. Julia, I got you down for the game show, or are you talking about the meetup? Are you coming to the meetup? It'll probably be 2 o'clock at RT Rogers. If I get my hair cut at 1040, that could take an hour. Last time I went, it took like 45 minutes. So that would be like 11, then I got to drive to Glendale. Yeah, I'm guessing 2 o'clock we'll meet at RT Rogers. And then we'll hang out there for a half hour, go to Ogopogo for another half hour, and then head back home. Saturday night, we are going to do, what is it called? 
movie trivia and Sunday's all picture round trivia. So that'll be tons of fun. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for having fun with me in the garage tonight. Julia says, oh, man, that shirt is awesome. Wallace something. Yeah, Wallace Sean. That's his name, Wallace Sean. So uh, April says that T is tight. April, I have a huge box of stuff to send you, so get ready for that. I was uh, playing Bioshock a little bit earlier, guys. I don't know if you know that game. I think the first one came out in probably 2008, 2006, something like that. And then Bioshock 2 and then Bioshock Infinite. They put all three of them on a collection for Nintendo Switch. And it came out in May and it was 50 bucks. And I'm like, ah, that's going to drop in price and I'm going to buy it. And it dropped to 32 on Amazon. So I bought it and I installed it today. And I just played the beginning. Badass game. Probably my favorite first person shooter of all time. If you have not played Bioshock, uh, it looks fantastic on the Switch. And I'm excited to be able to play that game on the go. You know what I'm saying? If I'm, I could play that game on a plane. How cool would that be? Cam says, man, I was on your other page and thought I was the only one talking. <laughs> that does happen. That does happen. Thank you guys for being here. We got 14 eyes on the screen. Remember to add in a bonus point if you RSVP tonight. Don says character's name is Vizzini. Oh, in the movie, Wallace Shawn plays Vizzini. That's right. Cheryl says, I want to play, but I'm on a work Zoom call. Oh, no, Cheryl. That sounds kind of lame. You got to get off that call. Greg says, join the cool kids, Cam. And Julia says, I was wondering where you were. Trivia starts in about three minutes, guys. And it is all about shopping malls to kick off the first round shopping mall trivia. Thanks for your support on Venmo and PayPal. Shopping mall trivia coming up in just a minute. It's free to play. All you got to do is write down your answers on a piece of paper. Split it into five sections. We're going to do five rounds of trivia. We're doing it the old-fashioned pen and paper way tonight. So you got uh, 11 questions per round. Write down all your answers to the questions. And you get one point for every question you get right. Two points for the bonus at the end of each round for up to 12 points per round. You could double up one round throughout the night, so use that doubler wisely. Those rounds are shopping malls as seen on TV products, inside store pictures, products and companies, and then we have our slogans, confidence round. Can't double up the confidence round, but you can score 55 points on it when you rank them correctly. I'll tell you about that when we get to it if you're brand new. And again, up to 12 points on one of the first four rounds and double up one of those rounds to get up to 24 points. When you double a round, it's not double or nothing. It's just whatever you get right is doubled. So use that doubler wisely. Julia says, all those years of playing Mall Madness will help me. That is a good strategy. Julia has been training for years. Julia, how did your interview go? You said, uh, I saw a picture you posted like, make up for the interview. And it was a nice picture of you. Um, how did the interview go? And when do you hear about it? Let me know. Cam Alador says, will years of being a mall rat help me? Yes, Cam, you're a big time mall rat. I saw Cam at the mall the other day just staring at a magic eye. And I said, it's a schooner. And he said, it's a sailboat. And I said, a schooner is a sailboat. And then he told me the Easter Bunny is not real. Or maybe Santa Claus. I forget the rest of the quote. But there you go. Uh, round number one, shopping mall trivia starts in one minute, guys. Cam, this next sip goes out to you. It's a nice Bud Light Lime. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. I was swimming with the kids. Ain't no better beer in a pool than a Bud Light Lime. I'll tell you that. Don Ayers says, my Star Wars and Captain Marvel stuff showed up today. Wow, that was quick, Don. I think I sent that two days ago. You send me bread, I send you swag. That pillow's ultra soft, by the way. Cam says, it's a sailboat. Jay says, you're finally back. We missed you. I think he's talking to Cam because he sees me every night. All right, here we go. First round of trivia, guys. First round of trivia. It's all about a little something. <laughs> Cam, you know what's funny about the vomit emoji? Uh, it's green, so it's kind of like he's throwing up a Bud Light lime can. <laughs> Beth has claimed that pillow already. Very cool. Uh, all right, here we go. Shopping mall trivia. You are writing on the answers to these questions. Round number one. Good luck, everybody. If you're playing for the first time, don't comment with your answers. Just write them down. We got 18 eyes on the screen between YouTube and two Facebook pages. Here we go. Question number one. In what mall store can you add a heartbeat to your new creation? In what mall store can you add a heartbeat to your new toy creation? Number one, number one, what do you think? Number one. Number one, in what mall store can you add a heartbeat to your new toy creation? Number one, number one, what do you think? Number one, first question of the night, shopping mall trivia. Number one, we have uh, shopping malls as seen on TV products, inside store pictures, products and companies, and slogans, confidence round. 
Those will be our rounds tonight. As seen on TV is a round uh, I've done before, but I looked at it today and I rewrote them, updated them with new questions. So this will be as seen on TV products too, if you happen to have played that one live with me somewhere in the years past. Here comes question number two, everybody. Number two, coming your way. Number two, shopping mall trivia. On December 31st, 2012, what mall beverage store was acquired by Starbucks? Wow, this was a while ago. I like this place quite a bit. I don't think it exists anymore at all. On December 31st, 2012, what mall beverage store was acquired by Starbucks? Number two. Number two. What do you think? Number two. Jay says, number one sounds a little morbid. <laughs> number two on December 31st, New Year's Eve, 2012. What mall beverage store was acquired by Starbucks? Number three, everyone, check it out. What is the name of Hot Topics discount currency that's up for use during certain earning periods? Number three, what is the name of Hot Topics discount currency that's up for use during certain earning periods? Number three, number three. What do you think? Number three. Trivia every night. Thanks for playing. Tomorrow is game show trivia. You have to sign up in advance. I have just two spots left. Let me know in the comments if you want to play. I've got Dylan, Brennan Peterson, Victoria Marquez, Greg, Julia, Ron, Aaron Freed, Vanessa Zetso, Matt Pollock, and Cam Molidor. I need spots 11 and 12. Every half hour, we'll have three contestants, just like on Jeopardy, and you'll be competing. Whoever has the highest score at the end of the half hour will get a prize. If you want to do that, it'll be cool. It'll work like Jeopardy, where if you say, you know, uh, shopping malls for 300, Ryan, then uh, we'll show you the question. And if you get it wrong, when you buzz in, you will get uh, minus 300 points. So it'll be kind of interesting and exciting to see how it goes. And it's my first time using it. I haven't even looked at the app yet. Um, I watched the tutorial on it and it looks really exciting. Um, and you can customize it and things. So I am going to look at that tomorrow. I've got some time during the day. Julie says, do we have to answer in the form of the question? I don't think so. I'm not going to write the questions like that because... I mean, I, unless people really want to, do you guys think that's a big part of it? I feel like uh, it's more of like a nuisance, but let me know what you think. Uh, Johnny says, I have no idea on this one. <laughs> uh, Johnny, are you going to play Jeopardy on Friday night? Let me know. Number four, what store named after a girl's name is about 1,000 square feet in size on average? Number five, what store at a mall named after a girl's name is about 1,000 square feet in size on average? Number four, number four, what do you think? Number four. Number four. Mari, thank you so much for sharing the video. I just saw that post. Very cool of you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Cam says, no, don't do that. That shit's stupid. I think so too, Cam. I get people like the camp of the show, but I d I've never like enjoyed that part of the show i'm never like oh cool they have to answer in the form of a question i'm always kind of just like can we just ask a question and you answer it you know so i don't think we're gonna do it unless people really want to number five what stores founder said everybody has 20 bucks a hat is clearly an impulse buy but one that people can afford number five this sounds like a real businessman this is like the monorail salesman on the simpsons everybody's got 20 dollars. a hat is clearly an impulse buy one that people can afford victoria says don't do it it's a pain in the ass johnny says possibly i'll let you know soon all right johnny I got two spots for you. April says, I grew up in the mall capital of the world. I think I might have told you guys this before, but I have this idea for a travel show called The Greatest of Them All. And it'll be me going to different malls and being like, what's unique about this mall is I'm here at Mall of America where you can buy cheese and a new car or whatever. Uh, so And ride a roller coaster. Uh, that's, my, that's my show. What do you think? Was that a good pitch? <laughs> I'm here at Mall of America. Uh, one time I did a week of comedy shows at a place called the House of Comedy inside Mall of America. And they put us up at a Ramada Inn that was like in the mall parking lot. And I didn't have a car. Or no, I did. I guess I had a car. I must have drove there. Maybe I flew there. Uh, but I feel like I couldn't get around very easily. So Ashley was off work at the time. She was like on unemployment or something uh, in Chicago. So she came with me and we spent a week there. And we were like so sick of that mall. By the end of the week, we were just done. And the hotel room, it was like rough. It was before we had dogs and stuff, I think. 
but it was cool. The comedy shows were cool. I met my friend Jesse Campbell there. That was a lot of fun. She's hilarious. You guys should look up Jesse Campbell comedian. One of the funniest. Here comes number six. Number six, the Santa. In Miracle on 34th Street is a Santa at what department store? Number six, what department store? Number six, would you guys watch the greatest of them all? I need to know, right? It's me. And then I'm like, you know, <laughs> hey guys, we'll be right back. And then it zooms out and I'm in one of those trampoline bungee jump things that kids go on. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, I think it would be fun for me to do that. I don't know if anybody would pay me for it. I feel like in 2001, I could have made big money on that show. I feel like in 2020, people are kind of like, we don't even know if the world's going to open back up. We're not filming a mall show. <laughs> Number six. Johnny says, isn't there a water park in Mall of America? There's a theme park, Johnny. I don't know about water park, but there's definitely like at least a roller coaster and like a carousel and like, like a, I think it's a full theme park. I think it's Nickelodeon themed maybe. Uh, Johnny says, hell yes. Greg says, maybe. Cam says, only stoned. Cam, what do you watch not stoned? Give me a show you watch not stoned. Number seven, in what state would you find the Mall of America? Wow, it's like you guys were predicting. I would ask a question about it. In what state is the Mall of America? Number seven, in what state would you find the Mall of America? Martha says, hi, Ra Roxanne, it's mom. Hi, Martha. Don says, I want to do a book about the best donuts in every state. And I think that could be a travel show. Donut Nation and the O's are donuts. Yes. I think that's amazing, Don. That's a great idea. I'd watch that show. I love donuts. Number seven, Donut Nation. Here comes number eight. What story is represented by a man dressed as a referee? I just caught on to a joke in the comments. Cameron just put C, which I think he was saying about shows he doesn't watch Stone. Like to me, like, yes. And then maybe, I don't know. But then uh, Jay Reyes says, Amarin, got you, bro. So that's a fun little thing. C, Amarin, got you, bro. Nice job, Jay. Cheryl says, I could give you lots of suggestions. Number eight, what store is represented by a man dressed as a ref? Here's number nine. What store does uh, FYE stand for? What does FYE stand for? This is a great place to go to get trivia prizes. FYE, like everything in there is a great trivia prize. Number nine, number nine. Cam's thanking Jay. Spocky's making his little bed over here. They love this bed we got him. He comes out here even when it's hot in the garage and he just like likes laying out here. But there's a lot of fans out here. He likes that too. Dylan says, Don, mom's donuts in Gainesville is the best. Put it on your list, Don. Don, what if we film those shows at the same time? So every time like we toured in the same bus and you just made fresh bread the whole time. And then we toured around in this bread bus and like we made sure that all the donut stops were near malls. And then I could film my show. You could film your show. We killed two birds with one stone. Production costs are in half. We could do it. We could buy a Winnebago. You and I are in there like, um, Walter White and Aaron, what's his name? Jesse Pinkman making meth, but instead you're making bread. I come out my underwear. <laughs> Greg says, I got most of my Funkos on sale at FYA. Yeah, they do good sales. Sometimes it's like three for 12, three for 15 on like clearance ones there. Uh, Cameron says, I was going to make some stupid answer, but I'm stoned and hit send and then died laughing. <laughs> Cam's out of his mind. Don says, the best donuts in California are in Escondido. Peterson's Donut Corner, my motto is, Fuck Duncan. Chris says, win a bagel. Ooh, three shows. Chris Lemos is on to something. Win a bagel. And on the, the, the Winnebago, Don makes bagels. And then we sell those out of the Winnebago. It's a food truck show. And we give away the Winnebago at the end so you can win a Winnebago. Win a Winnebago. Nation. Donuts. Greatest of them all. We just we just got a whole fall lineup of programming for like a Thursday night in the fall on the Travel Channel. It's going to be great. Don says, stop. I can only get so aroused. Cameron says, Sladoko in slow. And Bob's in San Francisco. Oh, we're talking about donuts. 
Oh yeah. Uh, Cam, are those are Sladoko in slow? Is that the picture you posted? You and Corey eating donuts? Those looked really good. Cheryl says some of the best donuts are baseline and citrus. Baseline and citrus. What's the name of that? What's the name of that place, Cheryl? Baseline and citrus. Oh, that's like right over here. Wait, no, where's citrus? Oh, that way. Baseline and citrus donuts. I've never been over there, Cheryl. I'll have to check it out. What's the name of it? Uh, Donut Man's really good in Glendora. If you guys have been there, those are really good if you like the fresh strawberry donuts. Buds, Clint often lies outside in the sun when it's stupid hot. Uh, Donut Man, yeah, that's it. Victoria, breadwinner, says Cam. Yeah, dude. Cheryl says Donut Makers. All right, I'm going there tomorrow morning, Cheryl. Let me check my schedule. Do I have something early tomorrow? If not, I'm going to get fresh D's nuts. I've got something at 115 is my first thing. Yoder Show Family Feud. Oh, got it. Okay. How much is that? Okay, interesting. That'll be fun. Uh, but I'm going to get donuts in the morning, courtesy of Cheryl's recommendation. Here's number 10, guys. Number 10, what kind of merchandise would you find at Zales? Number 10, what kind of merchandise would you find it Zales? Roxanne says, hi. Donut Man's really good, says Don. It's in the CVS Center, says Cheryl. Donut Makers. I'm going to go there. Each round you win bagels, and if you win the final round, you get the Winnebago. I like that. Don says, we're really spoiled for donuts in this state. Back in the East Coast, they think Dunkin's the pinnacle of donuts. Yeah, in Chicago, there are no just mom and pop donut stores. They're all Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme. Uh, and there was one place called Spunky Dunkers that was like, you know, old school uh, handmade donuts, you know, like not a chain place. And it was in Aurora, Illinois or something. And I remember Ashley taking me there uh, to get donuts for my birthday. I got two dozen Long Johns, half vanilla, half chocolate. My favorite of all time is a vanilla Long John. And you can never find it out here. They only do chocolate. I don't know why. It's very weird. In Chicago, vanilla Long Johns, as far as the eye can see. And, uh, I like chocolate too. I just like vanilla a little bit better. So I would go there and get those and be like, why can't there be more mom and pop donut places? Then I moved out here and every other like gas station is a donut place. And there, there's so many, you can't even try them all. And they're all equally good. Like all those, like just Joe's donuts or daily donuts and stuff. They are all pretty great. Dunkin' donuts do kind of suck. They taste like the subway of sandwiches. You know what I mean? Get there early. They sell out says Cheryl. Ooh. I'll have to get there real early. What's early? 10 a.m.? <laughs> round table of donuts. Yes, Dunkin' is the round table of donuts. I mean, I'll eat it, and I won't eat round tables, so that's saying something. Cheryl says, get the chocolate chocolate one. Johnny says, what's the best donut? What's the best individual donut? Johnny wants to know. Every time I'm in Baldwin Park, I always get me a dozen yum-yums. Yum-yums are kind of gross, too, Jay. I think those are, like, maybe a little better than Dunkin' Donuts, but I don't like places that are, like, Hey, you want a donut? How about a teriyaki bowl at the same counter? And you're like, I, can you just pick one of these things? Don says there are some really good artisan donut places in Chicago. I'm going to say Spunky Dunkers, says Johnny. Uh, Victoria says they have a $6 day old donut box, Ryan Buds, like 25 donuts. Are you shitting me, Victoria? I'll go get 25 donuts for six bucks. Just hand them out to people on the street. Victoria, are you talking about the daily donuts place or the donut makers that she, uh, Cheryl mentioned? Jay says they got the special spunk on their donuts. Easy, Jay. Victoria says the place on Baseline and Citrus. Don says Peterson's and Escondido has apple fritters the size of your head, and they're good. Julie likes maple bars. Those are good. Heidi says you got to try Upland Donuts on Baseline and Mountain. Upland Donuts, Baseline, and Mountain. Okay, I'll have to think about that. Johnny says it's all about that buttermilk donut. Ooh, I like a good buttermilk donut. You know what I like? I like a sour cream donut. Sour cream donut is real good sometimes. Don Ayer says, always big food sucks, but it gets attention because it's big. Peterson's apple fritters perfection. Not donuts, but the best cinnamon rolls I've ever had. 20 years, Butter Cafe and Bakery in Upland. Unbelievable. Ooh, Ashley's a big cinnamon roll gal. I'll have to go surprise her. Ashley takes steaming hot chili that she'll make from scratch and pours it over a cinnamon roll and eats it with a fork. Has anyone ever heard of that? Have I mentioned that on the show before? Ashley's family, they all grew up doing that in Utah. And uh, I will do it. I don't usually pour the chili on the cinnamon roll. I'll just eat them side by side. So I'll have a bite of chili and a cinnamon roll like with a fork on the side. But uh, they will. I, it's a full iced cinnamon roll. So she'll make cinnamon rolls and then just hot chili over the cinnamon roll. 
It's not terrible, but I don't like it mixed together. Tell me what you guys think about that. Last question, number 11 for two points. What company bought Sears in 2005? Your two-point bonus question on round number one. What company bought Sears in 2005? That's the end of round number one. Thanks for playing, you guys. All right. Favorite donuts are Boston cream and buttermilk, says Jay. Cam says spud nut potato flour donuts are dank. I don't love those, Cam, but they are interesting and they're not bad. I just, uh, I don't, I wouldn't like, that's not my go to place, but those are pretty good, spud nuts. Julie says, I used to get a good bagel sandwich at Dunkin' Donuts. Dylan says, that's fucking crazy. Cam says, what? Ew, what the fuck? Don says, you should see the pecan sticky buns I made. I'll post a pic on the app. God, my the, the Wix app is becoming like food porn, just courtesy of Don. Cheryl says, cinnamon rolls and chili is an Ohio thing. Interesting. Yeah. I've never heard too many people that do it. Um, I guess they used to do it in Utah. You know what they said? Um, the school used to do it. Whatever grade school, the Ashley's mom has seven sisters. And whatever grade school they went to would serve that together. So maybe that's where it started for them. Like they would be like, hey, it's chili day. And they'd give you a cinnamon roll, I think, as dessert. And then I think they start like kids at the school started like, com like putting it in the bowl and then putting the chili on top or something, something to do with that. Dylan says chili on butter cinnamon rolls would be blasphemy. And uh, Victoria says we do it once a month, six box Dale donuts. It's my little shop after CVS. Do it, Ryan. I'm going to do it tomorrow, Victoria. I'm going to live stream it. Those buns are so sticky, says Greg. All right. You're creeping me out, Greg. Any repeats for round number one? Any repeats for round number one? That was shopping mall trivia. Any repeats for round number one? I would put my I would pull my child from that school. <laughs> Says Dylan. This was also the 60s and 70s or 70s and 80s. So anything went back then, I guess. Do you ever see those old recipe books for like loafs where it's like jello spam marshmallow loaf? And it's like all rolled up and you slice it and it's like an old school vintage ad on the back of a magazine or something. There's a whole blog I found of those. They're super gross. I'm going to see if I can find it. Gross 50s recipes. 21 truly upsetting vintage recipes. Let's look at these while we take a short break here. Any repeats? Any repeats? Victoria says, Ron's grossed out when I put chili on a cornbread. Yeah. Cornbread and chili is pretty good. I will do that. Like I'll take that in the same bite, but I don't like the idea of the icing. That's where I draw the line. Let's take a look at this shit, guys. Look at this. Truly upsetting. Vintage recipes. Tuna and jello pie. Look at that green ass shit. That's terrible. Ham and what does that say? Bananas. Ham and bananas hollandaise. Who would eat that? Look at that. What if you went to a party and they're like, we got the ham and banana hollandaise out. I would literally laugh my ass off and be like, are you kidding me? What are we doing with our lives? Even in the 50s or 60s, like, why would this be good? Hot dog fondue. You could at least get behind that a little bit. It just looks silly. Uh, perfection salad. Ew, what is that? That looks like invasion of the body snatchers. Someone's been entrapped in an alien substance. Frosted ribbon loaf. Look at that shit. What is a frosted ribbon? Let's see what's in this one. It's strictly for company and simply delicious. You slice through the luscious cream cheese frosting to reveal pretty layers of ham and egg filling. Tomato rose is a fitting trim. Holy shit. Guys, that's rough. That is rough. And that's the end of round one. Uh, Don wants number seven and eight. All right, let me show you real quick, Don. Seven and eight. Number seven. Where would you find the Mall of America? What state? And number eight, what store is represented by a man dressed as a referee? Thanks for playing. We'll be right back. Uh, you're going to give yourself one point for every question you got right. Two points for the bonus at the end of the round. And thanks so much for playing Trivia with Buds. Check out my sponsors, High Point Brewing Company in San Dimas, California. They make amazing beers like this one. We'll see you in a minute. Shout out to Tracy Parrot, who just donated five bucks, says, Marcos gets me a drink right meow, please. Marcos, get me a drink right now, please. That's from Tracy to Marcos. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. You're on the list to win.
Cam, so far it's me, you, Greg, Doug, and Manny. Two o'clock. RT Rogers. Thanks for playing, you guys. We'll be back in one minute with the answers to round number one. I need two more players for Jeopardy tomorrow night. Jeopardy tomorrow night at 7 to 9 p.m. Pacific. If you want to play, let me know. I need two more players. It'll be tons of fun. Chris Lemos, thanks for your generous donation. Starter funds for your reality show. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. All right, guys, answers to round number one. Let's see how you did. Round number one, shopping mall trivia. Let's see how it all went down. Here we go. I'm going to share the screen. One point for every question you got right. Two points for the bonus at the end. Remember, we're playing for an inconceivable shirt. Looks like this. Wallace, Sean, Vizzini, inconceivable. You're going to win that if you're in one of the top three scoring prizes. At the end of these answers, I'll show you the raffle prize for round number one. I forgot to show you that. Number one, in what mall store can you add a heartbeat to your new toy creation? That is Build a Bear. Build a Bear. It's pretty creepy, like Jay says. Build a Bear. Uh, did anybody else get their high school boyfriend or girlfriend a Build a Bear? Was that a thing anybody did here? I did not do it personally, but I had friends who did that, and I remember making fun of them quite a bit. Uh, on December 31st, 2012, what mall beverage star was uh, store was acquired by Starbucks? Tivana. I used to love Tivana. You go there, you get the samples of the tea. Sometimes uh, get an iced tea. I just liked all the different flavors of iced tea that you can get. So I do miss Tivana. Number three, what is the name of Hot Topics discount currency? Johnny carries it in his wallet. It's hot cash, hot cash. Johnny Hanna, he's got more hot cash than he knows what to do with. Number four, what store named after girls' names about a thousand square squ square feet in size, on average? That's Claire's. Hey, hon, we're gonna go get your uh, your ears pierced at Claire's. I told Annabelle she could do that for her sixth birthday. She's very excited. Number five, what store's founder said everybody has twenty dollars? A hat's clearly an impulse buy, but one that people can afford. That's lids. Shut your lid. Number five. Number six, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, Santa is at Macy's. Number seven, what state's the Mall of America? That is Minnesota. Minnesota. And what store is represented by a man dressed as a ref? Foot Locker. Number nine, FYE, for your entertainment. Number 10, Zale sells jewelry. And the bonus. Kmart was bought by Sears in 05, and now Sears is barely open. If you go in there, it's just like super wide polos and slacks and appliances. Number one was Build Bear. Two was Tivana. Three was Hot Cash. Four was Claire's. Five was Lids. Six was Macy's. Seven was Minnesota. Eight was Foot Locker. Nine was For Your Entertainment. Ten was Jewelry. And the bonus was Kmart. And there you have it, guys. The end of round number one. Thanks for playing. Hope you had fun with the first round of trivia. Our next round is all about as seen on TV products. They're going to get pretty ridiculous. So get ready. Uh, Cam had some gross beer in Colorado. Victoria says it was truly horrifying to watch, but it's a fascinating show. 
uh, Dylan, I should be in for the meetup Saturday. Ooh, Dylan, that sounds awesome. RT Rogers, Sierra Madre, 2 p.m. That's where we're going to meet. I love citrus, jade, mint, tea, Tivana. Malls are my life, says Johnny. Cheryl says, at Julia, which of which one of you worked at Tivana? I got my ears pierced to Claire's, but it didn't take. I have bionic ears that don't stay pierced. I think my cartilage ring finally closed up after about 20 years. <laughs> Cam says, continue. Julia says, my girlfriend Shannon worked there. I worked at Starbucks many moons ago. Dylan, Amazon is going to buy Sears to use as a distribution spot. That is crazy. All right, guys, here we go. This is round number two as seen on TV products. Let's see what you know about as seen on TV products. But before we do that, I have the first prize. This is cool. This is my last one of these. It's from Drunk Girl Designs, and it is a greeting card. It is a Valentine's type card, so it's blank on the inside. Drunk Girl Designs in the back. Steve Buscemi on the front. It says, to my love. And there's Steve Buscemi, to my love. Who's going to win this card tonight, and who are you going to give it to? That's the more important question. Uh, to my love, to my love. There you go, guys. To my love, Steve Buscemi. That's the first raffle prize. It comes with the envelope. Fancy envelopes. So look at that gold. And uh, you can send this to whoever you want. Steve Buscemi card, first prize in the raffle tonight. We'll do that at the end of the night. Thanks for uh, donating on Venmo and PayPal. April, Chris Lemos, and my friend uh, Tracy Parrot are in the mix so far. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and that makes me play the smartphone by the person, person host, Andy, right? Okay. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. And we're jumping into round two as seen on TV products. Here we go with round number two. Let's see what you know. Number one, before it was called the ShamWow, the absorbent towel was called a super something. What was the super fill in the blank? Number one, super something. Before it was called a ShamWow, the absorbent towel was called a super what? Number one, number one. Jay says, I'd love that for my girlfriend. LOL, we're always sending weird stuff like that. I hope you win it, Jay. If uh, if this uh, girlfriend really needs this card, you're going to win it tonight, I bet. Number one, number one. Cam, I let this Bud Light Lime get kind of warm. Does that make it better for you or worse? Number one, before it was called the ShamWow, the absorbent towel was called a super something. I can't wait to try these donuts tomorrow. If you ever want to excite me as a human being, tell me about a new donut place that's nearby because I'm going to go so quick every time. Julia, Matt Alonis just donated five bucks. Thank you, Julia. It says, Mall Madness, perfect round. Great job, great job. Here comes number two. What does a product called the Tub Shroom help you do? Is it drug-related? Cam, we'll find out. The tub shroom, what does it help you do? Tub shroom. <laughs> Number two, what does a tub shroom help you do? Cam says it's exponentially worse to be drinking, sipping slowly a warm Bud Light Lime. <laughs> Cam, what would be worse than a warm Bud Light Lime right now? If I said you had to drink this or something else, can you think of anything worse? Also, Cam... Would it be worse to drink one sip of this or to be stranded in a field somewhere around Santa Clarita? You wake up, you're in a tuxedo. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to look. You look for the skyline to see where Six Flags is. It's nowhere in sight. You have no idea where you're at. All you know is that they're coming for you with a bottle of Mrs. Buttersworth. And they're going to funnel that shit down the back of your tux. Think about it. One sip of this beautiful elixir or that nightmare dreamscape that I just created in your head. Cam's is a second round of circumcision. They didn't get it all the first time. Cam's got too much hood. Cam has so much foreskin, he can wrap his entire package in it. I'm just saying what I heard. I saw that on a uh, message board somewhere. Milk, it was hot. It was a bad choice. Gross shrooms. Julie says, my roommate brought some homemade pickles. I really want to have a pickle back, but I don't have any whiskey. Sad day. Number three, the device. Fasta pasta helps you cook pasta using what appliance? Number three, fasta pasta helps you cook pasta 
using what appliance? Number three, number three. What do you think? Greg says he has the opposite problem of cam, which I think means zero foreskin, which would be like a regular penis. Is that what you mean, Greg? <laughs> like you don't have a bunch of foreskin, which would make it a circumcised penis? Or Greg, do you have no penis? That might be the problem. If Greg has no penis, then I think I figured it out. But I think Greg's probably got a penis. He is a dad after all. I know it's a dog, but he still calls himself a dad. Don says, come on, so much foreskin. It's five skin. Too easy. <laughs> Johnny says he calls it 12 skin. Julia says with our powers combined, he was talking to me, penis brain. Uh, Greg says of Julia, I'm saying I have all the whiskey. Oh, you guys stop flirting and just start joking about dicks like the rest of us. Cam says he replied to Julia. <laughs> Don says we've gone from donuts to dick. That sounds like episode two of our travel show, Don. <laughs> from donuts to dick. Uh, all right, here we go. Number four on a box of OxyClean, the product claims it's free of what? Number four on a box of OxyClean, the product claims it's free of what? Finally finished my gross beer. I'm not going to lie to you, Cam. It was pretty gross. <laughs> Number four. I opened it a while ago. Jay says, for my love, I'm talking about that Buscemi card, but you're a pretty rad guy too. Don't make this weird. No problem, Jay. No problem. You're going on the wheel 15 times. Thank you, Jay, for your generous donation. I hope you win that card. If I could rig it, I would, but we are, uh, we're live on the wheel now. Everybody sees it spin. So hopefully the powers that be will help you win that card. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Greg says, not that I don't mind talking about my penis. Don says, we've gone from donuts to dick. And Victoria says he has three skin. Dick and donuts is dick nuts. Mark says, random question. Have you tried Acevedo's, burritos, and Fontana? I have not. Johnny says, eating donuts at the Nixon Library, donuts and dick. Nice job, Johnny. I like your effort. Number five, what's the actual name of the magnetic curtain you can put in doorways for an easy screen? Number five, easy screen. April says, we got you, Jay, if we get it. That's good teamwork. Number five, cousins working together. 20 people watching. Thanks for playing along and having some fun with me in my garage. We have a round called As Seen on TV. We're right in the middle of it right now. And at the uh, end of this round, we'll do some repeats. And then we'll move on to inside stores. So I have some images from inside certain stores. You got to tell me what store we're inside. It's going to be cool. Julie says, I have all these products. Jay says, hell yeah, cousin. Our next raffle prize is a towel set that says save room for dessert. Save room for dessert. Speaking of all these donuts, uh, you get two different towels there. Save room for dessert. You can win that tonight. Save room for dessert. That is your next raffle prize. Steve Buscemi card or these towels. Save room for dessert. Everybody likes a nice towel, right? Here comes number six. Number six. The uh, original of glove was a white material coated in colored lines to grip hot things easily. What color were the grips? What color were those grips? Gripping hot things easily. Number six. That's what she said. Number six. Thanks for playing tonight and every night. Trying to do some different stuff for you guys to entertain you as these weeks and months and days roll on. So we're trying Jeopardy tomorrow night. We'll see how that goes. Next Friday, we'll try Wheel of Fortune. I got everything to run both of them. It's going to be a fun couple of Fridays. And then maybe we'll rotate back to uh, Family Feud. Here comes number seven. The original Hercules hooks could hold up to how many pounds? 100, 150, or 250? The original Hercules hooks could hold up to how many pounds? 100, 150, or 250? What do you think? What do you think?
Cam, I had one of those, but my hands are abnormally gigantic, so it fit in the middle of my palm. Number seven, how much could Hercules hooks hold? Number eight, what product was advertised with the tagline, set it and forget it? Number eight, set it and forget it. Number eight. Cam, I don't know what you were referring to in your comment. Are we still talking about dicks? Number eight, what product was advertised with the tagline, set it and forget it? Number eight, number eight. I have a Kevlar glove to use when I cut things on the mandolin. It fits me like OJ's gloves. Number eight, set it and forget it. Number nine, what product showed how strong it was by putting a screen door on a boat bottom and covering it in the product? Number nine, number nine. What do you think, number nine? Cam's talking about that of glove and also my Frankenstein. <laughs> Cam, I know I joke a lot about the um, the syrup tucks thing happening to me. What do you think the percentage of that ever happening to me in real life would be where I could, I, it would happen to me and I would be letting it happen? Like what would be the percentage of that actually coming to fruition where suddenly I'm like, wait a minute, field, tuxedo, 100 degree weather, ah! I've been to a few weddings where I've looked around like over my shoulder, you know, like, going on here but i think it's probably a pretty small thing to worry about it's just like when doors open towards me that's very silly to worry about too but i still worry less than half of a percent says cam all right here's number 10 where would you mainly use a product called the drop stop is this for taking dumps number 10 where would you mainly use a product called the drop stop this might be for taking dumps. This might be just a butt plug. We don't know for sure. Number 10, where would you mainly use a product called the drop stop? Number 10, one question left to go. One question left to go. Excited to get my second quarantine haircut on Saturday morning. It's getting real long in the back and on the sides again. I shaved my beard yesterday, so I just have a little bit of a scruff, which I like to do all the time, uh, every four weeks or so, every month. April says, clever name for a butt plug. Greg says, always, always for taking dumps. Julie says, buds, do you have any as seen on TV products? Hmm. I don't think I've ever bought any myself, but Ashley's mom buys a lot of that shit. So we ha we've had some stuff over the years trying to think i don't have any of the ones in this uh in this slide show but um I'm trying to think i've never actually bought anything off of tv but have i bought there used to be a store at orland mall where i grew up going to in chicagoland and it was called the as seen on tv store and all they sold was all this shit and grow my facial hair for a month and not get any more than you have now says don he's got baby cheeks johnny says i just imagine a horror movie where cam and i are the syrup man and we go syrup tuxing oh that'll be a scene in our movie if we ever film a trivia movie cam there's gonna be if we do a slasher that's how my character dies he gets so consumed with sticky that uh he gets he gets he gets uh syrup tuxed as a prank but then he wakes up chained in a field or something and then like a bunch of bugs eat him that could be good Victoria says, I have the Floby. If I had the Floby, I would be using it right now, Victoria, on my pubes. Here's number 11 for two points. Which of these product names is not real? Is it Dust Daddy, Scrub Daddy, or Belt Daddy? Which one of these is not a real product? Dust Daddy, Scrub Daddy, or Belt Daddy? That means two of these are real, which is real fun. Which of these product names is not real? Dust Daddy, Scrub Daddy, or Belt Daddy? What do you think? Cam says, if I'm making it, it's all practical effects. 24, almost 25 years, I'm still smooth, baby face. Don't feel so bad. Julia says, there was a particular infomercial that was I was obsessed with for Quick and Bright. It came on after Nick at Night, 3 in the morning. I would always watch. It doesn't even exist anymore, which is probably why it didn't work. All right, that's your bonus question. Dust Daddy, Scrub Daddy, Belt Daddy. Also, 
I want you guys to uh, claim these nicknames for yourselves. Who would be Dust Daddy? Who would be Scrub Daddy? And who would be Belt Daddy? I want to know. I want to know. We'll be right back. Thanks for playing trivia with me. Let me know if you need any repeats. Any repeats for round number two. Round number two in the books. And uh, your raffle prize is the Save Room for Dessert Towels. Save Room for Dessert Towel Set. And the Steve Buscemi card is at stake. Boom. To my love. Cam, I still have this Limp Biscuit sticker for you. I'm going to bring that on Saturday. So get ready to put that on your forehead. And uh, we got some other cool prizes. Three more things to show you. Three more things to show you. We'll be right back. Thanks for playing trivia with me. Check out High Point. Brew, brew. J number 10 was, where would you mainly use a product called the drop stop? Where would you use the drop stop? We are back, guys, with the answer surround number two. Thanks for hanging out and having fun. We're doing shopping and mall and store and product and brand-related trivia tonight. Our next round's a picture round, so get ready for that. But right now, we have the answer surround number two. Julia says, I'm keeping track of my calories again to keep my weight down. All of my snack section is booze. 
And Cam says champion. I just cracked a real beer, a uh, High Point Brewing Company, River Water. Although that's probably their lightest beer, but uh, it's very good. It's a light ale. And I like it. Don says women be shopping. You can't stop a woman from shopping. I tried. Oh man, if ever we ever have extra money, and I'm like, hey Ash, go, you know, get whatever you want. She's like, I literally, it's like a cartoon where the dollar signs turn it into her eyes. It's nuts. Uh, and she'll come back with just everything that says new on it. She buys like every new flavor of Oreos, every new weird cereal. She's like, it said new. I had to get it. Uh, here we go. This is round number two answers. Let's see how you did. We're giving away a Steve Buscemi card, a uh, inconceivable shirt, and some towels tonight so far. Let's see where you're at on round number two. One point for every question you got right. Two points for the bonus at the end. And here we go. Number one, before it was called the ShamWow, it was called the Super Shammy. The Super Shammy. That's a fun name, the Super Shammy. I dig it. And uh, number two, the tub shroom helps you unclog drains with hair. You put it in the drain, it catches all the hair. Number two, unclog drain, tub shroom. Number three, fasta pasta. Also, I want to know if Cam Molidor has ever done shrooms in a tub of some kind. Could be a hot tub bathtub i bet he's done it number three the device fasta pasta helps you cook it in your microwave doesn't that sound real good number three real good microwave pasta number four on a box of oxyclean the product claims it's free of chlorine free of chlorine in big letters number five what's the actual name of the magnetic curtain you can put to make a doorway that is magic mesh magic mesh number six the original of glove was white with blue stripes on it white with blue stripes on it. Number seven, the original Hercules hooks could hold 150 pounds, the middle choice. Number eight, what product was advertised with set it and forget it. That was the Ronco rotisserie cooker. Set it and forget it with the bonus flavor injector. That was probably the infomercial I've watched more than any other thing ever. Oh, I saw it so many times. Uh, Greg says, my account's freaking out. I hit the love 30 thing times by itself. I saw that too, Greg. I did that. Julia says, sure. I really need to cut down. Oh, Cam has done shrooms in a tub. Thanks for confirming. I've never actually done shrooms. Oh, Cam, you're full of shit. Greg says, I really need to cut down these snacks. Julia, will you take bleach for number four? Sure. Greg says, I would reply the same way. Here's number nine. What product showed how strong it was by putting a screen door on the bottom of a boat? That's Flex Seal. Flex Seal. I do want to put some Flex Seal on some stuff just to see how it works. Number 10, the drop stops for your car. It helps your um, fill in the spots, the crevasses in your car. for your. You drop your keys or your change or a fry, stuff like that. Number 10, number 10, it was on a Shark Tank. And the bonus for two points, which one is not real? Belt Daddy, I made that up. So Dust Daddy is a real thing. Scrub Daddy, a real thing. Belt Daddy, not so real. Here are the answers one more time. Number one was Shammy. Two was unclogged drain hair. Three was microwave pasta. Four was chlorine or bleach. Five was magic mash. Six was blue. Seven was 150. Eight was Ronco rotisserie cooker. Nine was flex seal. Ten was car. And the bonus was belt daddy. All right. We are going into our last round. Last, uh, not our last round, our next round, which is a picture round. Picture round coming your way right now. Thank you guys for playing. April says, what girl doesn't want a belt daddy? <laughs> All right. So this round, conceived by Ashley, is called Pictures Inside Stores. So I found pictures from inside stores on the internet. And uh, you just got to name the store based on the picture. You can look at the pictures real close. There might be little clues. You might see some words, maybe an image, maybe a setup of some kind that might help you out. Some are harder than others. Good luck on round number three. Cam says, I'm too imaginative. Hallucinating is probably scary as shit. I'm with you, Cam. I don't even like uh, a nice strong weed that's not uh, a body high, whatever the, the name is. Uh, I don't like uh, sativa because uh, sometimes my head gets crazy with the wrong sativa. So I try and stick to the other one, indica, right? Okay, here we go. Number one, what's this store, guys? Number one, what's this store on your screen? Name the store. 
can't stop a trivia player from shopping. Number one, number one. Camps is uh, hybrids all day. Yes, those are fine too. Here comes number two, everybody. Number two, what's this store? Number two, see if you can figure out this store. Number two, thanks for your donations on Venmo, Ryan Buds, and PayPal, RyanBuds at gmail.com. High Point Brewing Company and San Dimas, our sponsors, open every day, 12 to 8. Crack a beer like I did. Get some beer from High Point Brewing. I love their logo. They have great swag too if you go buy a shirt. They do a lot of deals where if you buy beers, you get like a shirt half off or a free hat and stuff like that. So make sure you always follow them and see what's going down. John says, Indica makes me tired. I mean, Sativa, I haven't tried Indica. All I really wanna do from weed is get real goofy and tired. I don't really ever wanna do it and then like go write or work or something. That would be a nightmare for me. Number three, what's this store? What do you think? What is this store called? Number three, number three, see if you know the answer. Number three. Number three, number three, write it down, number three. Number three, store number three, what do you think it is? Number three. Number four, guys. Whoops. Here's number four. What's this store? Number four. Number four. What do you think? Number four. I am getting excited to have a couple more beers, and then I'm going to go tear it up in Rapture on Bioshock 1. I haven't played that game in it probably at least 10 years. I'm going to cruise through it. It's going to be a good time. Cam, have you ever played Bioshock? I feel like you'd like that game. Number four. Number four, what is this store? Here's number five, everyone. What's this store? Number five, number five. Cam says he likes Bioshock. Number five, inside stores. Our next round is called Products and Companies. I will give you, uh, I think it's three brands, and you tell me the overall company. I think that's how that works. And then we have slogans for our confidence round. They are pretty tough. There's no clues, so it'll just be like some slogan that you maybe have heard of, and hopefully you can match it up to a company. We're in the middle of round three, pictures from inside stores. Julia says, are these local photos of our actual versions of these stores? Um, I just searched the store name and found some high-res pictures. So uh, I don't know, Julia. <laughs> like, so this one, for example, well, I'm not going to say anything. Number five. Here's number six. Number six, what do you think? Number six, what do you think? Number six. What's this store? One of my favorites, number six.
Number six. Here comes number seven. What's this store? Number seven. Number seven. What do you think? Number seven. Tomorrow, game show trivia. Looking for two more contestants. I need some people for the last half hour from 8.30 to 9. Let me know if you want to play tomorrow uh, night, 8.30 to 9. Number seven, here comes number eight. Julia likes this round. Here's number eight. Number eight. What do you think, number eight? Number eight, what do you think? Number eight, Johnny says, I'm good for the eight to eight thirty to nine. Okay, Johnny, you're down. You'll be competing against Cam, which will be fun. Johnny versus Cam versus somebody. Number eight, here comes number nine. What's this one, guys? Number nine, what do you think? Number nine. Don says, are all these stores that currently exist? Not necessarily, Don. Not necessarily. And number 10, everybody. Number 10. What's this one? Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. What's that store in the bonus for two points? Hint, this one's a restaurant. Hint, this one's a restaurant. Two points if you get it. Two points if you get it. That's the end of round number three. Stores, inside stores. Hint, this one's a restaurant. Your next prize, guys, for the raffle has something to do with uh, shopping. It's a bag, a Mulan bag that says Grace and Courage. Grace and courage on both sides. This is guaranteed to work for about a week before it snaps. Uh, so uh, check that out. Grace and courage. Mulan bag. Great for lightweight stuff. Nothing too heavy. That's how these bags usually work. But grace and courage, that's a Mulan bag. And we're giving that away tonight, including uh, that with the pile of stuff like the Steve Buscemi card and the towels about cake and dessert. Okay? We will uh, be... Back in just a second. Any repeats for that round? Any repeats for that round? Let me know. Any repeats for that round? Let me know. Look at this hair, guys. It's getting real lofty. It's getting real Bart Simpson-y. Chris wants number five again. Let's check out number five. Number five. Check it out, number five. And Tracy wants four and six. There's five. Here's four. There's six. Be right back, guys. Thanks for playing. We'll see you in just a minute with the answers to round number three. Uh, check out my podcast. It's called Trivia with Buds. You can find it wherever podcasts are found. 
Hit me up on Venmo if you want to win a Mulan bag tonight. Venmo Ryan Buds, PayPal Ryan Buds at gmail.com. We'll be right back in just a minute. Here is a picture of me and my dog Carver drinking beer.
Back with the answers to round three, guys. Thanks for hanging out in my garage to play some trivia. We've got the pictures of inside stores coming up right now. Trivia free and fun every night. Thanks for playing. I'm your host, Ryan Buds, and thanks for uh, all the support on Venmo and PayPal. We're giving away some cool stuff tonight, including a Steve Buscemi greeting card to my love and a Mulan Grace and Courage tote bag. Uh, I feel pretty good about this, guys. I'm sending someone a package, and I got this package today. This was what the game Bioshock was in from Amazon. So it's an Amazon package, and it had a couple of labels that I peeled off, and then I put my stickers over some barcodes that were on there. And uh, now it's a new envelope that I can send somebody. I did not do the rip thing at the top, so that rip cord's still in there, and it's all sealed up, and we're good to go. So I feel good about recycling that. And here come the answers to round number three. Let's see what you got right and wrong. One point for each question, two points for the bonus at the end. Number one, store number one, this was Dick's Sporting Goods. Dick's Sporting Goods, number one, Dick's. Number three, we had TJ Maxx. You could see M-A-X-X in one of these pictures there if you look closely. TJ Maxx. Number three was Ross. Dress for less. Ross the cleanest Ross I've ever seen in my life. Number four was Nordstrom. Nordstrom, little uh, mood lighting there, a little hipper, trendier, I guess. I've never bought anything from Nordstrom in my life, but maybe you have. Number four. Number five was Target. That's a fancy new Target. I know the Target in Laverne has this center section like that. If you live near Laverne, California, um, they're slowly redoing a lot of Targets to look, I think, like this. This is kind of the modern look of a Target. Number five. Number six was KB Toys, the defunct toy store from malls that I loved oh so much. KB Toys, one of my favorite places to go and rush straight. First, I would run past the register, look at all the video games behind the, the people working there and be like, ooh, cool, that came out. Ooh, they got that. Then I'd go straight to action figures. And uh, it was such a nice long aisle that had everything. Ninja Turtles, G.I. Joes, wrestling figures. It was great. Number seven was J.C. Penny. That's where I shopped a lot in high school for new clothes. J.C. Penny. My mom had a little credit card made for me that was connected to her credit card, but it had an R on the front of it in the J.C. Penny font. And she goes, "This is for you, Rye. If you ever need a little something for yourself." And oh, did I? Number seven. Number eight was Walgreens. Number eight, Walgreens. Number nine was Lowe's. Lowe's, not to be confused with Home Depot. If you look at the coloring of stuff, Lowe's. And the bonus, or sorry, number 10 was uh, Staples. That black carpet is a signature of Staples. And the bonus, this was from a restaurant called the Cracker Barrel. They just opened one by my house about a year ago out here in the next town over. I think it's Rialto or maybe Fontana. Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. There you go, the Cracker Barrel. Uh, Don says, see, we knew it would be a dick night. Jay says, I like the mustache packaging my shirt and DVD came in. Very cool, Jay. More stuff on the way. I'm sure you'll get more mustache packages. Maybe mustache rides. Who knows? Number one was Dick Sporting Goods. Two was TJ Maxx. Three was Ross. Four was Nordstrom. Five was Target. Six was KB Toys. Seven was JCPenney. Eight was Walgreens. Nine was Lowe's. Ten was Staples. And the bonus was Cracker Barrel. That's round three, guys. Round three in the books. We're now jumping into round number four. This is all about brands and products. So I'm going to give you some products. You tell me what the overall brand is. Number one, we have Mountain Dew, Naked Juice, and Ruffles. What overall company owns these products? Mountain Dew, Naked Juice, and Ruffles. Number one, sounds like a healthy meal. Number one, number one, what do you think, number one? What do you think, number one? Number one, Mountain Dew, Naked Juice, and Ruffles. Here's number two, Mr. Clean, Charmin, and Cascade. What's the overall company there? Mr. Clean, Charmin, and Cascade. We've got one round left on company slogans. And then we will crown a winner. Top three teams going in a raffle to see who gets the Princess Bride Inconceivable shirt. And uh, tomorrow we'll have four fun prizes for Jeopardy style trivia. April says, I don't understand. So April, these products that I'm showing you are all owned by one overall company. 
So if you thought Ford Motors owned all these products, you would write down Ford. That's not the answer in this case, but that's what's up. Victoria says, tall guy that delivers our prizes is all the packaging I need. That's got to be from Ron. I was like, Vicky, what? Now I, now I understand that Ron made that comment. He's a real scoundrel. Number two, Mr. Clean Charmin Cascade. Number three, Lunchables Miracle Whip and Wheat Thins, all made by who? What's the overall umbrella company there? Number three, Lunchables Miracle Whip, Wheat Thins. Number three, number three. What do you think, number three? Number three. Number four, Gerber, Coffee Mate, Toll House. Gerber, Coffee Mate, and Toll House. What do you think? Julie got her Burger King card in the mail. Thanks, Ryan and April, for being born. Awesome. That's very cool. April sponsored trivia that night, and we got a Burger King gift card out to Julia. She's going to get some Beyond Whoppers. Number five, Corona, Stella Artois, and Bex. Number five, Corona, Stella Artois, and Bex. Number five. Victoria, he is so offended because I actually said that. Wow. Vicky. The tall guy that delivers our prizes is all the packaging I need. Wow. I'm getting a little sweaty. Whew. It's, gonna get, it's, gonna get, it's not just the temperature in Fontana. Number five, Corona Stella Artois Bex. I am going to get some donuts tomorrow. I'll get a dozen from yesterday or whatever. Number five, six bucks for 26. How many did you say, Vicky? And also, if that place sells out of donuts every day, how are there donuts left over from yesterday? Catch 22. I caught you guys in a lie. Does this place even exist? Number five. Here comes number six. Dasani, Honest Tea, and Nas Energy Drink. I feel like Greg Nelson, when he stops at a gas station, fills up the tank, he goes in, he buys a scratcher. And then he always picks up a nice Nas. Number six, Greg, am I right? Am I dead on? Are you a Nas guy? Let me know. The good donuts sell out, says Cheryl. Give me some more examples of the good donuts, Cheryl. What are some of the good ones I definitely need to get when I go there? I'm going to write these down. I got post-it notes. Cheryl, tell me about these good donuts. Vicky, I want your donut recommendations too. Ron, keep your mouth shut. Number six, I'm trying to offend Ron. Uh, more and more each each hour here. Number six, Dasani, Honest Tea, Nas. Number seven, Snickers, Orbit, Gum, and Twix. Who makes those? Snickers, Orbit, Gum, and Twix. Ron just donated five bucks. He says, these five dollars would have gone so far at KB Toys. RIP. All you got to do is make fun of Ron, accuse him of false commenting, and then he donates. Thank you, Ron. You're going on the wheel. Ron Carrera. Thank you, Ron. You're the best. Vicky says it's whatever they call squish in the box. I don't think they sell out. We love it. They should just make nothing but good donuts, says Chris. My mail guy has the hots for me, says Julia. Cheryl says chocolate, chocolate. Greg says I'm the opposite of, from right. <laughs> Nas. Margs. Julia, it could be because I'm answering the door in my sarong but who knows Craig, julie if you think i know what a sarong is you're sarong <laughs> <sighs> i had a good time with that one guys here's number eight rice krispies keebler pringles rice krispies keebler pringles down there's a good mini series on history channel called foods that built america a bunch of these companies were on it
Number eight, Rice Krispies, Keebler, Pringles. What do you think? What do you think? Break me off a piece of that. Keebler elf. Kristen says, I forgot to change the round. Sorry, Watson. There you go. Kristen Rapari Watson. I always say, if it's wrong, I don't want to be so right. Good dad joke. Good dad joke. Coke? I get it. Julia says, wasn't Pringles in number one? I don't think so. Ruffles. Ruffles was in number one. Number eight, Pringles. Number nine, Betty Crocker. Checks, mix. Yo, play. April's still like, what the fuck are we supposed to be doing on this round? <laughs> Number nine, Betty Crocker, checks mix, yo play. She's like, do I just put a check in the box next to the thing I like the most? Wouldn't that be a fun round? Just tell me your favorite thing. Do you like Betty Crocker, checks mix, or yo play? If you check one, you get a point. Number nine, we got uh, two questions left, and we have one round left to go. Thanks for playing trivia with me. Oh, this is exciting news, guys. I was talking to you guys about this the other night. I uh, finally got into The Good Place. It was last night. Season one, episode 10, maybe, nine. It was where people from The Bad Place come up for the first time. Adam Scott is like a dick, demon guy. And uh, they come to take um, Kristen Bell to the... Uh, to the bad place. That was the episode, much like the episode of Parks and Rec on, I think it was season two, where Leslie tries to have all the adjunct community college professors at her house to show off why they should not be fired. Um, that was the episode that like clicked for me. And I was like, oh, this is great. Um, the Good Place last night, that episode. And you guys were just telling me the other day, the people that like Good Place are like, yeah, just keep watching it. You'll get hooked. And it was like that episode. And then we watched three more after that. I think we're on the final episode of season one tonight. And um, all of them were great. And it was like something just clicked where I liked all the characters. And I wasn't like like not looking forward to watching it. Like I'm looking forward to watching it tonight. So, oh, Bad Place Janet was hilarious. Uh, all of that was great. They said, we'll give you a unicorn. He goes, yes, we could kill it, skin it, and then grind up the horn and snort it. I was like, holy shit. It was like so evil. Number 10, take five Whoppers and Kit Kat. Number 10, take five Whoppers and Kit Kat. What company is that? Number 10, number 10. What do you think? Number 10. Mari says that is what she's doing. April, oh, poor April. Greg says, yes, it's awesome. Julie says, Janet's my favorite. The actress killed it later series playing multiple characters. She's awesome. Love Bad Place. Janet says, Vicky. Greg says, C. I said, you got to get it on a roll. Julia says that actress is also in Bill Hader's show, Barry on HBO. Yes, that's the next show we're going to watch after this. I hear that's awesome. Number 10, take five Whoppers, Kit Kat, and the bonus for two points. Hulu, Sci-Fi, Fandango. Who owns all those? Hulu, although this one's not updated anymore. Because I think Disney owns Hulu now. But back when I wrote this, it was somebody else. So think about who might own Sci-Fi and Fandango. <laughs> Who owns Sci-Fi and Fandango, but not Hulu anymore, I think? I don't know. Just write something down. Uh, I guess Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I didn't really like it first either. I think it took me like maybe five or six episodes to like those characters. Okay, guys, that's the end. Any repeats for round number four? Any repeats for round number four? What do you think? Any repeats for round number four? Okay, that's the end. Thanks for playing. And uh, last round of Double Up, last round of Double Up. Donate on Venmo, donate on PayPal. We're giving away these, which are interesting little bookmarks that I found. They're magnetic bookmarks, and they have like some vintage gals on them. So that's one side. The back is like shoes. And uh, this one is like someone getting measured for something. And the other side is somebody at the beach getting measured. So these are really small. Together, they're about the size of a matchbook. 
and they're magnetic bookmarks, I think. I don't know. Ashley had them in some kit. And I said, can I give these away? And she said, yes. So we're giving these away. You get both of them if you win in the raffle tonight. So magnetic bookmarks going to somebody. And uh, that is our prize. <laughs> Cam says, vintage gals. Always my porn up search. <laughs> Victoria wants two, five, and 10. Tracy says, you basic. All right, here we go. Two, five, ten. Here's ten. Take five whoppers, Kit Kat. Here's five, Corona, Stella, Bex. And here's two, Mr. Clean, Charmin, Cascade. We'll be, <laughs> we'll be right back. Thanks for playing trivia with Buds. And uh, thanks for all the support. If you like vintage gales, go donate. Cam just donated $100. He needs those. His internet has not been strong. He can't search well at home. So he needs those microscopic pictures to, uh, you know. We'll be right back. Thanks for playing trivia with me. Here's me at Pam's desk. Isn't this cool? BRB. Dylan Enderby just got your ten dollar donation. It just says vintage gals or vintage girls in the in the comments. Thank you, Dylan. I hope you win those. Mari says April really wants those book thingies, and uh, <laughs> and donated twenty five bucks. Mari, thank you so much. You're on the list as well as April, with great chances of winning all the prizes tonight. Thank you, Mari and April. Thank you, Mari and April. Boom. Three, four, five. Thank you, Mari and April. Answers coming up in one minute. Answers coming up in one minute. Okay, buddies, we are back with the answers to round number four. Cam, I took a screenshot of your comment about Ash being <laughs> doing the cinnamon roll chili thing and sent it to her, and she just said, uh, LOL. And she's like, oh, no. She was always like, wait, what are you guys talking about? So now she knows we're talking about her. Uh, Cam, uh, Victoria wants number four grouping. 
Gerber Coffee Mate Toll House. Gerber Coffee Mate Toll House. For Vicky. All right, here we go. Answers to round four. Last round of double up. Then we have our confidence round about slogans to close this bitch out. Thanks for playing. Thanks for hanging out. Number one, Mountain Dew. Naked Juice Ruffles are all PepsiCo. Pepsi products. Number one, Mountain Dew. Naked Juice Ruffles. Pepsi Co. Number two, Mr. Clean Charmin Cascade. That is Procter & Gamble. Procter and Gamble. Number three, Lunchables. Miracle Whip. Wheat Thins is Kraft. Kraft Miracle Whip. Kraft Wheat Thins and Kraft Lunch Hubbles. Number three. Number four, Gerber Coffee Mate Toll House. The answer was Nestle. They make the very best. Nestle makes the very best. Number five, Corona Stella Bex. That's Anheuser-Busch. Or you could have put Bev, uh, not Bev Mo, InBev. InBev, I think, owns everything now. So InBev would be fine. Don says Proctor from Police Academy. Yes. The name Proctor has to mean something with the butt, right? Like a proctologist. The P-R-O-C, that's got to mean butt in some world. Number six, Dasani, the worst water. If you ever have to drink bottled water, Dasani is the worst. Honesty, Nas, Coca-Cola. Number six, Nas, uh, a staple of Greg Nelson's household. I opened the fridge at his house one time. The whole fridge door was lined with Nas. <laughs> the inside of the fridge was just all Margs. The, the door was Nas. It was great. Number seven is Mars. Mars Bar. Mars Chocolate Candy Company. Jay says, I don't like anyone. I don't trust anyone who likes Miracle Whip. April says, Impossible Burger is my favorite. Uh... Proctoring a test sounds disgusting. Yeah, that's a butt test for sure. They're getting up in your rectum. Rectum, barely knew him. Don says Lil Nas X. That's a good one too. Uh, Jay says, I don't like Miracle Whip. I don't love Miracle Whip. I don't ever buy it on purpose, but like, I think I told you guys, someone, Ashley or mom, they bought it by accident. They thought it was mayo and weren't looking. And so we had it in the fridge. I like it every once in a while. I like that tangy zip to switch it up instead of just mayo. Greg says that's gross, but he's lying because he loves Nas. Number eight, Rice Krispies Keebler Pringles is Kellogg's. Kellogg's. Number nine, Betty Crocker, Chex Mix, Yo Play. That's General Mills, number nine. Number 10, Take Five Whoppers Kit Kat. That was Hershey's. And the bonus, Hulu. Sci-Fi Fandango. Again, I think Hulu is now owned by Disney, but uh, NBC Universal Comcast owns the other ones. It's kind of a shit question. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But uh, whatever you want to do. April says we can't be best friends. Dasani is the best. April, are you for real? No. It's the round table pizza of water. It tastes so bad and like plasticky. I'd rather have tap water than Dasani. I am swear to God. Let me know if anybody else likes Dasani. Am I crazy or is Dasani the worst? Cam says worse water. Or is he talking about Arrowhead? I got to know. All right. There you go. Answers to round four. Thanks for playing. We're jumping into our last round. This is the confidence round. It's all about slogans. Right now, all your answers. Ranking them one through 10. 10 the highest. One's the lowest. 55 points available. These are pretty tough. How do people feel about Arrowhead? Dude, it's water. It tastes like water. It's exactly like the bottle it came in. Will you take Time Warner for bonus? Sure, Julia. Chris says, Dasani's off, awful. Proctor-ish. <laughs> Dasani's garbage water. I'd rather drink Gutter Roof Runoff. Oh, Cam, we should start a band called Gutter Roof Runoff. Uh, Victoria says, so you don't like any meat? LOL, I love Dasani. Hate Arrowhead. Love Dasani. I've never heard anybody say that. Even people like at the Coca-Cola meetings, they're like, this is shit. Why are we selling this? And they're like, it's water. People are crazy. Uh, Arrowhead's the worst. I guess I haven't ever really noticed. Like I've, I've had water, like Arrowhead, like in an office, like when they have it there and stuff, but I've never really like noticed it. Uh, I, I never buy it. I've never bought water in my life. I just drink whatever's there. Fiji's the worst. Fiji's the worst. Mari, come on. I love Arrowhead. Arrowhead's the worst. Dasani's second worst. Arrowhead tastes like dishwater. 
Saudi is salt and it's so gross. Airhead's great. Don't like the Sunny at all. Got a roof runoff is crashing on Dick Bagel Bread Bus. I'm out. <laughs> it's a big traveling traveling ban. But the best is that pH water with the black label. The Sunny tastes like ice cubes. Ice cubes that have run through a sphincter. That's my answer to that. Johnny says Crystal Geyser is my shit. Johnny, are you talking about porn stars or water? Because I'm pretty sure Crystal Geyser, uh, for the most part, water's water. I grew up drinking tap water, but I definitely can tell when I'm drinking Dasani. It's lame. Fiji, I love the softness and slightly sweet taste. Oh, Jay, that was uh, that was a great sentence you just put together. That was like a that was poetry. Cameron says, but I've I've ice cubes from a dirty freezer. Yeah, they're like the ones that like when you go to stay at a rental property and there's still ice in the freezer, and you're like, how long has this been in here? Should we use it? Julia says, so crazy that. Evian is naive backwards. Oh shit. Is that on purpose? Ryan, you're breaking my heart. April, I could just not send you any more prizes and send you a case of Dasani a, a week <laughs> if you want. Cameron backwards is scradrab cab. What's the point here? Water hose water is the best. I'm pretty sure that's what they're putting in a Dasani label bottle, Mari. So you guys got to watch out. You guys are just so dried out in Arizona. You're just like, you'll drink from a cactus. You're like, what's this Dasani cactus? Oh, it's so good. You got thorns all over your face. You're like that was really good water. Cause you just need water. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> I'm a champion says Julia. I actually had a co-teacher battle in front of students with a blind taste test of water and won. Ooh, I would like the blind taste test of water. I've never heard of that. That sounds fun. Okay, last round. This is the slogans confidence round. Write down the name of the company based on the slogan, bitches. Dasani water, huh? Good God. See, I don't hate Dasani as much as Roundtable Pizza. It's not even on my radar, but I can't believe how many people like it. I guess it's just Vicky, Mari, and April. I'm down for that. They're almost five bucks on Amazon Fresh. Okay, here we go. This is Slogan's Confidence Round. Name the company number one. Think big. Number one, number one, think big. Number one. Is this just johnnyhanna.com? Number one. <laughs> johnnyhanna.com. Think big. Number one. Cactus water and pricks on my face only happen once. <laughs> Mari was in one of those desert orgies you hear so much about. Dasani for everybody. Greg says, my friends who were asses called me Gerg. <laughs> Number one, think big. Number two, whoops, think small. See what I did there? Number one, think big. Number two, think small. Johnny says, think big, actually small. That's the website. I have a Brita, works great. I do love a Brita pitcher in the middle of the night when you're really drunk and it's ice cold and real tasty. Number two, think small. Number three, American by birth, rebel by choice. Camalador.com. Number three, American by birth, rebel by choice. Number three, roof, water, runoff. Playing live on the bagel bus across Arizona. We're going to stop at April and Mari's, throw them some real water. Mid-show, it'll be great. I have five cases of Dasani sitting tall. I wouldn't use those to put out a fire on my own body. Number three. If I noticed my pant leg was on fire, I'd be like, anything, anything. I need a good water. Julia says, is three a political slogan? Number three. I imagine you made that face, Julia, when you were asking that. Number four, between love and madness lies obsession. Triviawithbuds.com. Number four, you're all obsessed. Between love and madness lies obsession. Now, can you just use slogans? Could I take this slogan and say trivia with buds.com? Can I steal this from whoever it's from? 
Wouldn't that be fun? Just stealing slogans and shit. Number four. Between love and madness lies obsession. These are real hard, Julia. What about if dope was on fire? What about if dope was on fire? Hmm. I'm an old fart born in 1962 American by birth, rebel by choice. You're all snowflakes. Number four. Here comes number five. See what we mean? Good luck on that shit. Number five. See what we mean? Do you see? See what we mean? Number five. This one sounds kind of like a little high horsey, right? Like, ugh, did you see what we mean? Because we did. The commercial for this is... <laughs> It's just a guy like, <laughs> number five, see what we mean. Impossible shirts and Johnson's underpants. Here comes number six. We sell more cars than Ford, Chrysler, Chevrolet, and Buick combined. Number six, we sell more cars than Ford, Chrysler, Chevrolet, and Buick combined. You're dope. It's a Breakfast Club reference, says April. I've never seen that. That came out the year I was born. That movie came out before I was born, so I've never seen it. April. April, I've never seen it. Number six. What if my balls were on fire? <laughs> Nothing a little spit couldn't put out. I said it. Number six. We sell more cars than Ford, Chrysler, Chevrolet, and Buick combined. Number seven. I am what I am. It ain't Popeye related. Number seven, I am what I am. Number seven. Number seven, I am what I am. Number seven. Number seven, I am what I am. April, I'm kidding. I've seen The Breakfast Club probably 10 times. Number eight, when there is no tomorrow, don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. What does he do? Something like that. Number eight, when there is no tomorrow. Number eight, when there is no tomorrow. Number eight, number eight. Two questions left. Here's number nine. There is no substitute. Number nine, there is no substitute. I gave the shotgun instead. What does he say? This? Does he say, don't mess with the bull? You'll get the horns. I did this. That's kind of a bull. Julia, April just cut you off. Close one, buds. Number nine, there is no substitute. I've seen all the John Hughes movies dozens of times and number 10 live in your world play in ours my wife number 10 live in your world play in ours 20 people still watching thanks for hanging out having fun with me in my garage every night tomorrow is game show trivia 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 game show trivia i'll show you the uh trailer again for the quiz show game we're going to play tomorrow. Hopefully this works out great and uh, I'll be able to customize it and it'll be really cool. Um, let me open this here and there and do that. And uh, we'll get ready for tomorrow night, guys. A naked blonde walks into a bar with a poodle under one arm and a two foot slime. She lays the poodle on the table. Barter says, I suppose you won't be needing a drink. Naked lady says, I don't know. Better than the shocker, says Cam. 
Word up, April, we should do homework round of a movie we have to watch the day before and answer questions to it like a bad movie. <gasps> that would be good. I like that. What if we did a... <laughs> What if I made everybody like watch the room and we did a whole trivia night on the room? That would be kind of a fun night and we could advertise it as, Hey, watch the room and then come do trivia on it. That would be pretty cool. I would love to do that. I think we should do it with the room. What do you guys think? We could also do it like Sharknado or something. Um, but let me know. All right. That's the end of that round. I am now going to show you a, uh, trailer for what the, game show setup looks like for tomorrow it's gonna be a ton of fun i hope you come play and uh, i need one more player one more player guys where is the window here it is here we go watch this and we'll be right back So that was just a quick little trailer for the service I'm going to use tomorrow to uh, run the Jeopardy style game. It'll be pretty cool. Julia says you owe me and Greg a game night. No problem. We'll get to that for sure. Whenever you guys want to do it. And the punchline to my joke is forget my pencil. It's another breakfast club quote. Got it. Okay, here we go. This is round number five answers in just a minute. I'll give you guys another second to work those out while I pull them up here. Thanks for playing tonight. Thanks for all those generous donations. Your last raffle prize is another card. This one is not uh, campy. It just says, uh, this is how much I love you. And then when you open it, it pops open like a heart. There, whoop, I didn't do that right. There we go. This much. So how much do I love you? This much. You can give that to somebody for Valentine's Day. This was a $7 card. Look at that shit. Guess how much I love you. Still in the plastic. Pop-up card. Two cards tonight we're giving away. That's your last raffle prize. How much I love you. You can save it for somebody that you love. And uh, we will um, be going over the answers right now. Answers to the slogans round. This was a tough round. Hopefully you're just guessing and getting some right. Let's see how you did right now with the confidence round. 55 points available. You wrote down all your answers, ranked them one through 10. 10 was the highest, one was the lowest. Number one, think big, was IMAX. IMAX theater screens. Number two, think small, Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Number three, American by birth, Rebel by choice, Harley Davidson. That sounds like some Harley Davidson shit, doesn't it? Number three. Number four, between love and madness, lies obsession is Calvin Klein. Number five, see what we mean. Canon, get it? See images, pictures. Number five, Canon. Number six, we sell more cars than Ford, Chrysler, Chevrolet, and Buick combined. Matchbox cars. Matchbox cars. Number seven, I am what I am. Reebok, I guess. Number eight, when there's no tomorrow, FedEx. Got to get it there right away. FedEx. Number nine, there is no substitute. Porsche. Porsche. And number 10, live in your world, play in ours, PlayStation. PlayStation. Number one, think big was IMAX. Two was Volkswagen. Three was Harley Davidson. Four was Calvin Klein. Five was Canon. Six was Matchbox. Seven was Reebok. Eight was FedEx. Nine was Porsche. Ten was PlayStation. And that was the night, guys. That was our last round of trivia. Thanks so much for playing with me. Add up all your scores and RSVP points and send me those answer sheets on Facebook Messenger. Top three scoring teams will be in the mix to win that Princess Bride t-shirt. We'll be right back. Thanks for playing trivia with Buds.
We'll see you guys in just a minute. Send me those answer sheets. Thanks for all the support on Venmo and PayPal. Heidi, you are so quiet lately. You didn't comment once tonight. Thanks, Heidi. Send me those answer sheets, guys. Last call for answer sheets. Top three scoring teams going to win that T-shirt. Vicky says, I'm not sure I should submit this scorecard. Any more answer sheets, guys? Any more answer sheets? Any more answer sheets? Last call for answer sheets. Thank you so much for playing tonight. 98 names on the wheel. 98 names on the wheel for donations. Very, very kind of you. 98 names on the wheel. And the top three scoring names coming up here in just a second. All right. Did you write the quiz show questions for Jeopardy tomorrow night? I will, but I have not yet, Dylan. I did not uh, do them yet. I have to actually like practice how to use the software tomorrow morning. Uh, make sure we're all good. I posted an awesome video earlier of John Bon Jovi and some friends playing a cover of Mr. Brightside by the Killers. If you like that kind of thing, go check it out on my wall. Victoria, I got yours. Thanks. All right. Here we go, guys. Top three scoring names for the Inconceivable t-shirt. This one looks like this. We showed you at the very beginning of the night. Inconceivable. Pretty cool shirt. Wallace Shawn. Bazzini. And uh, the top three scoring names are spinning as we speak. It's Team Don, Team Julia, and Team Cheryl. Who funds to win tonight? Who is going to win this amazing T-shirt? Oh, hi, Mark. We're going to see who wins right now. We'll shuffle this up a couple times. Julia's team, Don's team, Cheryl's team, and we spin. We spin, and we keep spinning until that winner is Don. Great job, Don Ayers. You have won a Vizzini shirt, and uh, that is going to Don. Great job, Don. You have won that T-shirt tonight. Great job, Don. Great job, Don. That is our game for tonight. I hope you had a bunch of fun playing some shopping-related trivia with me. I know I had a good time. And uh, we are now going to raffle off all that cool stuff. The first thing we're raffling off is going to be the Mulan bag. Mulan bag going to one lucky player. Let's see who it is right now. Let's see who this is going to. Again, 98 names on the wheel. Now, 
Guys, what do you think? Should we shuffle up all the names or should we keep them in order? Uh, we usually shuffle them up, but I think I'm going to keep them in order tonight just to switch it up. Here we go. Let's see. In order, all the names are there. So like April has 25 in a row. If it lands on April, we'll see. Let's see what happens here. The winner of the bag is Mari. Mari, you have won the Mulan bag. That's going to Mari. Thank you, Mari, for your generous support. Thank you, Mari. Great job. Off to a great start. Here comes the next prize. It's the uh, towels, the save room for dessert towels. Let's give them a spin and see. Boom. Here we go. This is going to Mari. <laughs> Mari won the towels. Mari, do you not want uh, the Mulan bag? And do you want the towels? Let me know. What do you think? What do you think, Mari? Do you want those prizes or do you want them re-raffled? Give away the two. Okay, we're going to give them away again. We're spinning that wheel. Let's see who won this time. This is for the Mulan bag. So we're re-spinning because Mari does not want the Mulan bag. It's going to Chris or maybe Julia. Chris, Chris Lemos, you have won a Mulan bag. That is going to Chris Lemos. Great job, Chris. Thanks for your generous support. Now we're going to redo it. And this is going for the towels, the dessert towels. Let's see, let's see. Who won the towels? That's Dylan. Dylan won those towels. Dylan, I got a box, a bag of stuff for you, so I'll throw that in your bag. Great job. Next up, we've got the Steve Buscemi card. Who's going to win the Buscemi card? We're spinning the wheel. We're spinning. We're spinning. We're spinning. This is the one Jay wants. Let's all give Jay some good juju. Did Jay win it? No, but Mari did, and she said she can give it to Jay. So I think Jay has really won that, courtesy of Mari. Great job, Jay and Mari. Great job, Jay and Mari. Thanks so much for your support. Our next prize is going to be the little magnetic bookmarks. The magnetic bookmarks. Let's give it a spin and see who won the magnetic bookmarks. The magnetic bookmarks are going to April, and she wanted to win those. Look at that. Magnetic bookmarks to April. Very, very cool. Great job, April. And let's see on this last spin Who's going to win the I love you this much card? The I love you this much card that pops out. We're going to spin that wheel the last time. Here it is. Here it is. Jay secondhandedly won that card. Cam says vintage gals. And Tracy, Tracy Perrot has won the I love you card. Tracy P. That's going to you, Tracy P. Thank you so much for all the support tonight, guys. Always a good time chatting with you in the comments and having some fun. I need one more contestant for Johnny and Cam tomorrow night. If you want to play, let me know in the comments for Jeopardy style trivia. It's going to be a hoot and a holler. You guys are the best. God bless you and your families. And I hope you're all safe and sound. We'll see you next time for more trivia with buds tomorrow. Game show, quiz show, Jeopardy edition. Bye-bye. It's going to be great.